Senate Bill 1062 is making waves across the state as a piece of legislation that could either underline religious freedom or deny equality. A key element of democracy, of course, is the voice of the people. We call our officials representatives, after all, and communities are coming together to ask their representation to hear their voices in a big way. NAZ Today's Sierra Ferguson reports on how the bill is being received by the public just as it's getting ready to be discussed in the House. SB 1062 is on Jan Brewer's desk, and this weekend a crowd gathered outside City Hall in protest of the bill. There's a lot of energy, there's a lot of momentum, a lot of different people are upset about this bill. Uh, people who I didn't anticipate to be upset about this bill are, are out and protesting, right? If the bill were to pass, it would extend religious freedom to organizations, corporations, and companies, as well as individuals. That alone may not be bad, but many fear that protecting the rights of a business to act or refuse to act in a religious manner might open the door for discrimination. But what do the protesters hope to see from the governor? I mean, I would expect her to do the right thing, which is definitely listen to the voice of the community. I think we're the people that are coming out here and making a noise in a big way. Um, I don't see very much support for the bill itself doing the same thing. So I would expect her to listen to the community, um, to veto the bill on Monday or Tuesday when she gets back to town. Um, that's what I would expect. When I look back, when I'm older, I'll look back as a, this is a moment of like pivotal activism for me. and. Um, I was very emotional yes, or, yeah, yesterday, and it was just a lot of energy to walk down. Then we joined everyone else, and then cars started honking when all the signs started going up. People are, that's people showing support, of course. The actual law might be passed by government officials, but the voice of the people, activist Chelsea Byers says, is a powerful thing. I myself watched the entire um, cow committee hearing and it was pretty incredible to see the legislators and their attitude towards our communities in the state of Arizona but also kind of a little bit um, ill-informed as to the power we had. Watch out, if we're coordinated, we're going to stop it. <laughs> and speaking of community voices, NAZ Today spoke to NAU and CCC students to see what Northern Arizona's campus communities think of the bill. It's an unnecessary piece of legislation that Arizona is trying to pass right now. Like, we don't need any more laws in place that are going to terrorize and threaten marginalized people. I, w I would want to be feel comfortable going in somewhere no matter what I believe. I think it's kind of wrong because people should be able to have the right to be served anywhere, really. It's pretty much worthless. It's just an excuse for people to force their beliefs on others. We as a, na a state need to stop allowing these laws to happen and need to elect officials that actually do what we ask. We won't wait! Stop the hate! We won't wait! Stop the hate! For NAZ Today, I'm Sierra Ferguson. The Flagstaff Chamber of Commerce is coming out against 1062. NAZ Today will continue to keep you updated on the controversy surrounding this bill throughout the week.